Hey everyone, I figured I'd do a star today since that's one of the features I had to create on a set of wings. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what the finished product looked like right here. It was on um, Air Force senior pilot wings. But there's a trick to be able to get it to look like that. You can't just use the uh, modeling uh, create shape tool and then um, I use the angular uh, option to get that edge but we'll go back over and I'll show you what I'm talking about that you can't just use it off of a vector that's star shaped like that you have to cut it up so here's one complete um, star that I made and I'll show you what I'm talking about if you don't go to an extreme height on this is what controls the shape height you're not going to see this problem as prevalent or as um, easy to see to the naked eye, but you can see this where it curves upward. And that's just something in the software with Vetric. So it's fine when it's out here in um, this, the smaller portions, but when you get into this big inner um, portion is when the software just starts pulling that up to that set shape height. And then if you really want to make it stand out, see that's what I'm talking about. It's got this huge peak to it. Even if you come back down to half an inch, it's still there. It just it's okay. it kind of looks okay, but then you still got like this uh, circular, like rounded, smooth edge. And uh, that's not what I wanted. So if you see here, it's more sharp edge on these senior air wings, or senior pilot air wings anyways. And that's the look I was going for. You can just see it's more sharp edged. So we'll uh, get rid of that, and then I'll show you the trick behind getting a really nice looking star. So what you do is you're gonna section this all up. But there's a certain way that you gotta do it. So I tried it doing it this way and it is a complete and utter failure when you do it that way. And we'll go back and I'll show you. We'll set that height down. See, it's creating each one of these vector shapes separately and then it's going from point to point to point to point and then it's creating these straight edges here. And that's obviously not what we want. We want that peak in the middle and not like this weird shape that could be cool for something else but not this. So we're going to back out of that again. And I use layers a lot because it just helps um, when it comes to uh, not having a whole bunch of vectors overlapping and trying to find stuff especially when I'm doing like really high detailed characters and uh, aircraft and, and whatnot and stuff that has a lot of defined features in it. So this is how you're going to section it. Basically, let's open, keep that, and then, so you're going to, you're going to have this um, leg or whatever you want to call it, and you're going to draw a vector from here to that point, to that point, to that point, and here. And then what happens when you do that, you're going to need to join those. And how you join them you'll highlight them and then you'll use this tool over here in the drawing tab called join so it's already joined and you're good to go I don't ever really mess with the tolerances here that always seems to work well for me uh, and then the other thing you can do is a vector validator check and make sure there's not some tiny overlap I've seen some weird stuff happen before but it's fine so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do that on every leg or uh, of that star and then you're going to highlight this layer because that's where I'm going to want to put all of my um, all the, the components that I create. And the other thing that I use is in the tree is what I call this um, is levels. So you can hide um, components in different levels or just have them there and kind of stack stuff. And there's different ways that you can do it. And it's got the same 
uh, like so you got your component properties you can use the combined methods in the same way but you have this extra one here that you can utilize so you can use it like you're gonna stack it on top or you're just gonna merge it into with another piece without it affecting it but for what we're doing right now it doesn't really matter but I just figured I'd let you know so we have all of these you see I don't know if you can see the definition in there of that pink line but they're all like that. So what you do is you go ahead and highlight them all. And you come over here to create shape. And we'll go to the 3D view. That should be fine. And let's just pick that. And then there you go. You have those nice sharp edges that look really nice. And then I'll show you we can smooth it out too with the smoothing tool and then if you guys have never used this smoothing tool if you preserve transparency it's gonna keep this sharp edge down here and what happens when you're using this smooth components tool it's throwing a slight draft on it and then it's rounding the edges and smoothing them out as well so it's not a sharp edge as it was it's got a little bit of a, uh, a inward fillet is what I'd call it on there and then fillets all of these you can see that let's get a top-down view so you can see it's got a draft straight and then draft and then what happens when you click off of that you've got this rounded edge down here so we'll go back to that but if you want just a straight edge that's how that's what you do you leave it on pre preserve transparency so anyways that's the how to make a really nice defined straight edge uh, sharp looking star